And Zach Gazrowski of MyGamer.com. And we are playing Firefall this week, which is a first-person shooter MMO. And as we were just saying, when has that ever worked? Yeah, uh, Destiny might be the first and only. Uh, yeah. Well, the thing is, like, the, even the way that Destiny is doing it is it's heavily instanced. And, like, with this game, it's... On a first-person shooter, you want it to be, like, really sort of responsive. Yeah. Um, and it's not that your character doesn't feel responsive, it's just that it kind of feels... I don't... Like... I don't know. Like, they didn't get Le- everything that you'd want to be doing in the first place down. Mm. So this is just an arena-based first-person shooter? No, it's not an arena-based, because I'm... But it... Okay. I, I'm only fighting, um... You just happen to be in an arena right now. As no, we're... this is not an arena. It's actually, like, a huge level, funny oh. enough. Oh, all right. Yeah, I am ignorant about this topic. I don't know uh, anything at all, so please uh, enlighten me with okay. whatever you know. Okay, yeah, so this is... It's an MMO. It's your classic MMO. Think World of okay. Warcraft. Yeah. Not as good, though, with guns. Okay. Um, and so somewhere between Borderlands and um, World of Warcraft exists this game. Okay. And, and so you just make your own clan and you just do a bunch of missions... Obviously, this is set in space or something in the future. It's set in the future. Um, yeah. And, and right, right now you're doing a uh, just some kind of protect the flag, flag ish territories. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. Um, leveling up, running around, leveling up, doing that kind of stuff. It's none of it's really super. I don't know. I have like the volume turned down, and there was like an unskippable intro scene, which, like, kind of annoyed the living hell out of me in the beginning. Um, Is this game only uh, player versus player? No, I am not, uh, I have not fought any other players. Oh, so these are all, oh, okay, it's just the interface. It It, it looks like it's a human. Yeah, until this point, I was fighting bugs. Yeah. Um, So this, the fact that I'm fighting kind of like bandits now Mm. is a slight change from what I was doing, but not enough of one for me to be really So it's an MMO but you still kind of prefer to play it single player or just want to play it single player for the stream here? Um, well I I, I could be in a uh, group, but I'm like level 2 so there's not a lot of Killed easy, huh? Well, you don't want to be in a party in an MMO for the most part for like, there's no reason to group up and split experience for quite some time. Oh, you gotta... Okay. Alright. Yeah, because, like... Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, if it's them, yeah, unlike Borderlands, like, if you kill a guy, everybody gets the same experience. Yeah, yeah. which was, um... I mean, that was one of the huge, uh... What was it? Exploits of the first Borderlands that, like, if you just wanted to power level a character, you could get one of your friends to jump on. Mm-hmm. And, like, your lo- your highest level friend, and they would just, like, run around and kill stuff. Yep. It makes it friendly, but, yeah, you can't exploit it, but that's the give and take. I mean, yeah. you know, otherwise otherwise it can be tedious to do that. Like, you know, if you get a game mixed with, you know, if I'm level 20, you're level 2, you're fighting level 20 guys, obviously the level 2 guy's going to get smoked. Yeah, he, I mean, like... You know, so you got to find a balance somewhere. That's the difficult decision that you need to make. Yeah, and so, like, Borderlands was just like, nope, just, you know, give them the level 20 guys. And, mm-hmm. Like, the more kills that happen, the more that they'll eventually level up or something. And that's that's what happened. It's It's... So you were saying that this game has been in beta, like, forever? It's been in development forever. Development forever, yeah. Um, it and like normally, like they announce this, and I think like even there were rumblings about this when we went to E three like that long ago, kind of really? thing. Really? Yeah. Two thousand ten. Yeah, two thousand ten. This was this <laughs> yeah. was PAX. Oh, like, geez. PAX had this huge firefall mm. thing, and. Like, it was this huge joke that, like, all of PAX had been, like, 
that even I think they were joking like we took over PAX because their booth was the size of pretty much every other booth combined, sort of thing. Uh, yeah, it, it was it was a little little bit ridiculous. And it and it's just officially out now though. Uh yeah, it came out recently. Like a couple months, within a couple months. Uh, uh no, uh, a couple weeks. Oh, yeah. So how how much is it? Do you pay it's, like just no? One? It's it's free to play. For so free to play, it's is there any free. kind of a monthly? It's free across the board. Mm. Free to play means free to play. Okay. So yeah, it's I mean it's completely free. So I mean if you're just like looking for something to scratch that MMO itch. Yeah. Um, it's it's not a terrible thing, but in the same instance. You know, it's it, it it could be a lot. You know, more. it doesn't look that bad. I mean, you know, watching just the stream here, it seems like there's you know a lot of action. There's a lot of things going around at one time. It looks pretty good. Yeah, you no, know, especially for a free to play game. I mean, I, I mean, it looks doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. Is probably the best way I would put yeah. that. Um, it doesn't look wonderful though like if you're expecting people like I, I think they tried to go to the stylistic route with like yeah. Borderlands or something I was just going to comment about that it's it's uh, Borderlands-ish yeah like it invokes Borderlands but yeah, not but not not the way, that, the way yeah not like enough of the way for you to be like oh like you know Borderlands gets away with it because it's so cartoony and this one's yep. like oddly trying to go hyper realistic cartoony yeah which like you, you really have to pick one or the other there's not yeah it's kind of in the awkward middle ground yeah it's like that it's awkward, okay yeah. it's not bad it's uh, not fantastic uh, I mean I think Borderlands look better obviously but Borderlands looks fantastic though like it's it's the thing about Borderlands, same thing with like the Wind Waker, is everybody was knocking at the time, but those games graphically just still hold up. You know, they, you look at like um, Ocarina of Time, uh, and it's like, oh man, this muddy textures and low poly counts, it's just kind of not as good. But you look at the Wind Waker, it makes it kind of, makes it more timeless. It, yeah, and even even when it came out, people were saying that just like you know. This this is going to you know last longer. Like the visuals on this will last mm -hmm. longer, yeah. and I don't necessarily know that that's what Nintendo was going for. I think that at the time, yeah, it just worked out that way. Yeah, it's just like at the time, that's kind of what they were just going for. Is all. Yeah, I don't think they were that that smart to think that ahead. That yeah, would, like oh yeah, no two, one's gonna you know you know it, two it, consoles down, they're gonna have to make the HD remix. No. Yeah. And it's going to look almost exactly the same. It's going to look exactly the same, just, you know, in widescreen and... Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it's... it's I don't... It, it's, it's, it's interesting. How long have you been playing it since it came out? You know, the last couple of weeks? No, I, I, I just picked this up today uh, oh, okay. for something to stream. I've been playing it for not not a huge amount of time, but... You know, not like super. But like, I think maybe I have like half an hour, forty-five minutes before the stream started in this. Three, three sixty controller. Uh, it's supported. I'm not playing with it. Okay. Because you know, why not just use a mouse and keyboard at that point? Mm -hmm. I, it's nice to like lean back in your chair and everything, but. Mm -hmm. Wait. Right. Am I supposed to be? So, what are some of the gimmicks behind this game? So, obviously, you got you know you're running around and you can shoot and you can jump. Uh, what are is there like special abilities? I see there's a lot. Of, it's kind of hard to tell from the stream, but there's like a lot of like circles on the bottom of the screen. Are those like special abilities or something? Is there like a main gimmick behind this? Yeah, game? It, you get abilities, so it's like you get different job classes, and all the job classes are available to you, kind of right at the get go. Mm -hmm. So you can be an engineer if you want to. You can be heavy, you can be all this other stuff. The problem, though, is that you always start back at level 1 with all of that stuff. Mm. Um, and I don't know if, like, later they're planning on, like, oh, you've leveled up this, this, and this. So that means that, um, you know, like, you've unlocked, you know, like, the Dragon Mancer armor. I mean, like, you, kind of what they did with uh, Final Fantasy 14, 11 and 14, mm -hmm. that if you unlock stuff for long enough you would get 
So, does the water not get deeper? Ever? Huh. Um. Can't go swimming, huh? Yeah, I'm like sitting here, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, it's probably done by design. Uh, maybe. Maybe they, they just... They didn't want to add water, they didn't want to add water swimming animations. Yeah. Whatever I'm, the case may be, I don't know. I, I, I'm wondering if uh, this is just kind of like they didn't expect you to do this. Oh, well. Um, yeah, like Final Fantasy XIV, it was kind of cool because you, you would start down a job path and you'd be like, okay, I'm going to be a warrior and then I'm going to get this and then I'll be a monk and then like I'll be, like if I take monk, I can be like a dark knight later or something. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was kind of neat, but I don't, I don't know if they're doing that with this in particular. So is there uh, a specific like gimmick behind the gameplay? Let's say it's a first-person shooter MMO. Just, just that, 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 nope, that's but, but that. That's nope, it. nope. The, yep. You don't you're, get like you you're, know, you're trying to dig uh, too far into this. Yeah. Like you're you're really thinking too hard. <laughs> I'm trying to. Uh, no, no. You know, every just, it's well, it's like every game you know has their has their thing has their gimmick, right? You know, Halo Two had dual wielding, and Borderlands is. Like this, you know, the single player or four player co op. This is know, made you know, by like, some of the people who did, um, I think it's like some of the people who were on World of Warcraft and mm-hmm. some of the people who were on the Tribes games. Yeah, I was going to say it is kind of Tribes. You can kind of. It's hell, yeah, that. yeah. But it's in the same instance, it's like those were also very good games. <laughs> like, I don't really know how like and that's the thing in the, the that I've always thought was funny is it's like when a movie poster is like you know like they they try to do like oh you know from the director of ET or something but they mm-hmm. never do like oh some of the staff from ET it's like oh so like was this dude like a PA like <laughs> what what exactly was this yeah. guy doing mm-hmm. you know uh, it, yeah. it, it, video games have such, especially like World of Warcraft. I imagine that team probably at one point was close to a thousand people. Sure. Oh, huge. Yeah, just mad, just huge. mass. Well, I mean, you're talking 15 million subscribers at its, uh, you know, at its peak. I mean, just the server farm alone. Yeah. So you know, you you have like a, a thousand plus people just working on that one game, and it's like. Well, okay, so this is someone that worked on World of Warcraft. <laughs> For a what, week and then got fired. Yeah, or, or you, what did they do? <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you hear that one story? Um, it was uh, some podcast or uh, stream or something. They're big on YouTube, I guess. Um, they they kick, Someone kickstarted a game based on their stream and, like, some of the character art that's been done for them or some, something. What? Yeah, well, the, yeah, this had Yogcast. Hmm. Um, and uh, so they, this, this place started a studio to do a game based on them. And, <laughs> well, it, they're, like, really big, basically. Okay. And it's like they raised all this money and it all just evaporated. What? It was just a sham? Well, no. It was like the the guy came forward and was talking about it, and like one of the things that happened was, uh, they hired an artist to, uh, they hired an artist to, you know, do concept art and all this other stuff, and they're like, okay, well, you know, here's your contract and here's your year advance in pay. And, you know, it's it's like the reason that they did that was like, you know, just in case anything happens, you guys have your money. Yeah. And... And they just took off? In two weeks. You, like, did two weeks of work and then just, like, was like, oh, I got a job doing something else. Laters. Jeez. Yup. That's... <laughs> I mean, that's just a crazy, stupid story to begin with. Yeah, and it's like... So, people- right. I mean, the outcome doesn't, I guess, surprise me as much. Well, yeah, and it's, like, one of those things that it's, like... It, like, I was even reading the comments, and, like, some of the comments were, like, you didn't think to, like, add it into his contract that he had to work for, like, mm-hmm. at least three months or pay it back? Right. right. Like, really kind of... This kind of shady. Yeah, and it's, like, all of this other stuff that people were just, like, 
how do you not like there was like it, all of these people were just like how would you not think that someone was oh I thought and like all of the right. guys comebacks were like oh I thought that he would be like uh, that people would just be a better person than this or something mm-hmm. and it's like you know they're <laughs> not though yeah, if they could take advantage of a situation like that and get a year's worth of pay for a year's week. worth of pay for two uh, weeks, uh, yeah, I, I, you can't really blame the other guy for right. Being I was like, gonna say that dude. If anything, he's just the smart one. Yeah, being like, "Smell you later." Yep. Yeah. So you're throwing some turrets down. Is that like your? That's super my move? yeah. That's my ability because I'm an engineer. Uh. Where do you go to get quests? You got to go to a quest board. You well, like right now, character. I think this is um, a series of quests, like in a row. And oh god, there's. Like, Did you just pick it out of a out of the menu system? No, or you gotta, no, like, like this one. This one, they're just like kind of continually throwing them at you. Okay. Um, just because, it. I think these are like the tutorial, basically, or yeah, something. Yeah, it's, it's so early. Um. So it's just literally just like go do this, go do this, go do this. Um, so I'm, that's, like, I'm just literally running around and, like, following beacons that they're setting up, so I haven't seen, like, a quest board or anything. It still says we're playing Project Zomboid. Oh. Oh, well. Project Firephone. Nope. (laughs) I'm fixing it, I'm fixing it. Firefall. There you go. Broadcast successfully updated. Sweet. There's nothing wrong. Well, there's nothing wrong with Zomboid. I like Zomboid a lot. Yeah, we uh, streamed it last time. Yep. So, what have you been playing this week? Well, I went back. I think I uh, mentioned it last week. I was playing The Darkness too, and I went back and basically just got all the achievements beat the hell out of the game, played all the extra modes. Uh, I got all the achievements except for beat the game again on the highest difficulty setting, which I... Probably um, will never get. I'm, yeah, that's not really going to happen. Uh, so I got 900 out of 1,000 achievement points because the last achievement, the one last achievement is 100 points. Um, so I've been playing that. I really like the game, but I'm done with it now. I beat the shit out of it. I got everything. There's no need to go back and ever play it again. But it was a good game. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot more that I thought I was going to like it. Very simple, straightforward, but yet entertaining. Yeah, you were saying it was pretty decent. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, there's not, like, it's not fancy, there's not a lot of bells and whistles, but I, it, they, they got, like, right to the point when making the game. They're like, this is, let's just make a straightforward, linear, very, very, very linear game, but with a pretty interesting narrative. Not that the narrative was, like, outstanding, but at the same time, definitely well written enough and and well voice acted to keep you going to the end and it's not it's not that long of a game i mean if you just plow through it you play it on the easiest difficulty i mean you can probably knock the thing out in four to six hours no problem so it's uh it's a good game so so i've been playing that and then um i finished playing that and then i went back and i just started playing uh, uh nes remix on wii u thanks to the club nintendo platinum prize this year so I just started, I played a little bit more of that um, uh, last couple of days, unlocked a lot of the stuff. I haven't, I don't think unlocked 100% of the stuff yet, but I think I just well, got like all some the of games. the challenges are fucking ridiculous. Oh, right? yeah. Some, like, and the thing is, is, and I'm writing a review of it now, and one of my things in the review is like, like I grew up and I played all these games. The only game that I don't think that I ever played before was Wrecking Crew. Never played Wrecking Crew before, but... Every other game in NES Remix I played, but going back and playing these games now, like they, a lot of them haven't aged uh, as well as I remember. The, and the, I think the prime example is the original Mario Brothers, not Super, not Mario One, but just Mario Brothers, where it's like the two-player kind of like oh, verse mode on, on, yeah. on a single screen. That game, I don't know if you if you played that game recently, but that game is just awful, awful play control. Well, like you it, can bar- you can barely just jump up to the next ledge. It's so floaty, it's so inaccurate. 
you know, playing with this just god awful play control. And then they got um they got Clue Clue Land. I fucking hate Clue Clue Land. That game's a piece of shit and I wish they would just like ignore that game and they but they keep bringing it back. Nintendo keeps bringing it. Same thing with Urban Champion. That game sucks and they keep bringing it back. I don't know why like if I was Nintendo, I'd like want this game to like go away from history cuz it's that awful. You know, but just Wow, but, tell me how you really feel about here, it. Here they are, you know, bring cuz they just released not just released, but they they re-released uh Urban Champion the 3D Classics version on 3DS. Like that game does not need to be remade in any form whatsoever, you know? So it's um uh, that's 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 my take on it. It's interesting. Like I enjoy playing that. It's an interesting take on on all these new games, um, but or old games, you know. But uh, you know, it's it's not the the best game. But I I enjoy it just because I it hits my nostalgia note. You know, growing up playing all those games. Yeah, it's exactly what you want at this moment. Yeah, and and I we're we're playing it late. You know, we're just playing it now. And I say that because. NES Remix 2 is already out and they have a lot of the games now this is like the very first gen Nintendo game you know black box Nintendo games uh, very you know golf pinball uh, the original original first Nintendo games launched for the system whereas you know NES Remix 2 because I was like oh man well where's the Metroid yeah we got like Zelda in here but that's in the next one yeah I was like what about maybe like yeah Punch Out Kid Icarus uh, you know these types of games um you know, so I was like, you know, it's like a glaring absence, you know, from this great compilation uh, mini game, uh, you know, downloadable game. But you know, so you can't knock it too hard because Nintendo was like, well, maybe they had planned on making two all along, you know. Yeah, but I, I heard that there's like, it it the flow of some of the challenges could be better, and the way that you unlock stuff, um, people had some complaints about like. I think it's like supposedly really linear the way that you unlock things. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of the more you play, the more you unlock. Uh, so you can play each each challenging it one to three stars, and then you use stars basically as like currency to unlock more stuff. So if you get you know a hundred stars, you'll unlock you know pinball or the next game or the next challenge or whatever. So it's kind of your benefit to not just play all the challenges, but play them well to earn more stars, to earn more stuff. Um, instead of just plowing through them and just kind of beating them to beating them, no, you got you want to beat them with, you know, a good score, a fast time. It's just where you unlock more stuff. But yeah. um, it's all right. You know, for the free game, you know, fine. I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd spend like 20 bucks for it because I think that's its going rate. But uh, it's not bad. You've been playing anything else? Oh, I played the Destiny beta. Yeah, yeah, yeah I played. Yeah, I played that uh, over the weekend because it was free to all users. Yeah. What did you think? I played. Yeah, I played it on 360. I I liked it. Um, I was I was actually impressed. Um, you know, this is my first time, obviously, playing it. Of course, you can see trailers and stuff like that, but until you actually like play it yourself, you don't. Yeah, you kind of like you sit there and you're like, oh, I I kind of get where they're going with this. Until you feel it, you know, how does the game like move and just handle and it, everything? It's and Halo! It's, it's Halo! Exa- and, I, and I love Halo, you know, so it's like I... Uh, not that I had any doubt, I'm, I was sure that it was going to be a great game, but now it's, that I was playing it, I can like... It's fucking breathe. Halo! I can breathe, yeah, I, I like that though. I, I don't you're know if fighting you, the Covenant, you're... You're just a new form of a Master Chief, I you guess. Look, you kind of look it, like Master Chief. It, it's not as... Um, like you don't like the jumps aren't as aren't as big maybe but I know like the more you play like you can unlock like a like I unlocked like a double or it was a it was a jump but then you can kind of like float down a little bit. Oh, there's so a can, double jump you that I yeah. got. I don't know what. Yeah, I only got to level like five or six or something. I don't remember now, but um, it's going to be interesting. And I yeah, I'm going to be picking it up when it comes out. I'm I'm excited about it. Um, you know, it's still going to be on current gen, so it's not like an exclusive, you know, next gen game. But they designed it to be on both both uh, current and, and next gen systems to begin with. But what did you what did, did you play it on your uh, Xbox One or your PS4? I, I played it on PS4. And how is it on PS4? Um, it's good. It's really good, actually. Um, yeah. 
I, uh, yeah, I, I liked it. I mean, I'm I'm excited about it. I mean, it's uh, it's going to be like this, you know, like kind of like Firefall, right? But uh, good. But 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 good and and taken uh, not maybe more seriously, but just they have a big team in there. I mean, the game has been taken. You know, they've been under development for what like four or five years now or something. I mean, ever since, since ODST. The la- uh, it started right like during. No, uh, not ODST. Um, it was, no, it was it was ODST because they actually reach. as an as an Easter egg. Well, it was Halo Three ODST, but as an Easter egg to ODST, they put. Um, like they put Destiny posters on the walls randomly in ODST, like you know, follow your destiny or something. It said, or wait for destiny, or uh, something along those lines. Um, your destiny awaits, I think, might, is what it was. Um, hinting, and they have the destiny symbol on there, which is the symbol that they're using for the game. So they were working on this game probably in parallel with ODST, or right nearing the end of ODST, which was. When the hell did that game come out? You know, that was a long time ago. It was years ago. So, uh, and I, from what I understand, it's like the biggest, biggest budgeted game ever. You know, tons of man man hours are gone into that. You know, Bungie and Activision are banking on this game to be successful. Uh, it will be. And it will. And well, the thing is, is they're planning on this game, you know, being uh, alive for years to come not just with regular like dlc packs or anything but just you know evolving the game for i don't know three four five six plus years you know they got a long-term plan for this game it's going to be exciting yeah i mean you hope right yeah i like i said i'm going to pick my biggest dilemma is is you know what i'd like to get it on xbox one i don't have an xbox one yet could this be the jumping off point for me to get an Xbox One? No, yeah, the maybe. answer is no. Yeah, you know, like, I still, like, uh, I can still get it on 360, you know? But I know my friends are probably going to play it on Xbox One, so it's like, well, shit, nah, I guess I have to get an Xbox One because, obviously, you want to play this game online, co-op with your friends. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? Why are there monsters there? I think someone, like, found a way to, like, drag monsters into the heart of town. (laughs) Which... Are you picking out a a skill? What was that? I I was trying to figure out how to... What the fuck? Um, I, I was trying to figure out how to, like, add an item... So you just, so those uh, platforms that you just stepped on that rejuvenates your health and ammo. Yeah, they're like in town, and like there's, you'll actually like. Oh, go. so now okay, so you're you're supposed to be in the safe zone, but yet monsters are coming into the town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, this game's weird. You can't beat free though. Yeah. Pff, huh. I mean, someone. I mean, someone could pay me for it. <laughs> someone could pay you to play it. Yeah, they, they, they are right there. I beat free. Yeah, we, we beat free constantly. It's called <laughs> getting paid to do shit. It's called a job. <laughs> you got a crazy jump, which is like tribes, like. Yeah, but it's it's not as accurate, so. Advanced frames. Oh, okay. so this is their whole scheme here. So you can buy tokens with physical money. Right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you have no tokens. So that's the... Okay. I was wondering, like, what... Okay, you, so here you, are tokens. Can, Let's yeah. see if I click buy... So how much is like forty tokens here? Like is that like a dollar? Is it? Um, I don't know. That's what I'm like poking around here. Like, I- I'm sure that there's like all kinds of facts online that. Mm. Red oh, beads. Oh, okay. Red beads. So twenty is a hundred and sixty dollars. Or let's try that again. Twenty dollars, I get a hundred and sixty of them. Oh. And then I then ha- you convert red beans into these coins. 
There are tokens? I think so. Red B, that's fucking weird. Yeah, so... for tw These frames are mm. like $15 a pop. For the additional frames. And what are they... What's... What is a... Fr oh, so a frame is just a whole new guy. It's... Yeah, it's like a new job class, basically. Yeah. Oh, I gotcha. So then how many quote-unquote frames do you start with was there like three that you can pick from from the at the Four, beginning okay I think. but but there was like that was like a, there was like a dozen there so there's quite yeah a and they're called advanced frames ah uh, okay now i get it so with all free-to-play games i mean that's the if you buy an advanced frame are you going to have a significant advantage I, I for somebody else that, that lays a couple of bucks? That, you know, like, that's always, that's the balancing act that's incredibly tough. Well, here's, here, here's the thing, is if they can't make me sit here and be like, well, this is a ton of fucking fun with the free frame, why would I want to be like, I should really buy a fucking advanced frame? Mm-hmm. I mean, figure if they sell one advanced frame, I mean, that's pretty much like the cost of, the, of a game. You know, it's $15, $20. Well, that's the thing. Is like, the, And that's like, you know, a lot of people who are playing this are probably like, well, you know, it's, you know, $15 if I only buy one of those a month. It's not that bad. <laughs> you know, or that's just, that's that's yeah. a subscription service at that yeah, point. Yeah, absolutely, yep. You know, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, but, you know. And that's you, what they're banking on. Probably. It doesn't mean, like, you should do that in any way. Well, that's pretty cool. You can get these glider wings here. <laughs> yeah, but it also means that, like, the areas on interesting enough that you kind of <laughs> want to skip most of it. Oh, so you talk to these people, they give you quests. Well, you go to a job board, and they say, this person has posted this ah, on the job board. Okay. Go talk to them, and then mm -hmm. I go talk to them, and they're like, my kid's dead. Please go get his body. And I'm like, oh, fuck you, all right. Fetch quests, huh? Uh, they're mainly kill quests, but yeah, something like that. Speaking of uh, questing, did you see that in the next Monster Hunter game, you could dress up as Link? You've, you've, there's been a ton of really weird Monster Hunter outfits forever. So that doesn't, that really doesn't surprise me. That yeah. In well, I guess you can get like a, like a Link's bow. He's got a shield or something like that. You they, yeah, get sword and shield. Weapons. Sword and shield is, um, it wouldn't surprise me that that's in there. Sword and shield mm -hmm. is. I think he had bombs. I think it might have even been the. Uh, that shit. That shit exists too. The in uh, boomerang, Hunter. something like that. That shit exists in Monster Hunter. Mm -hmm. All all of those weapons are things in Monster Hunter. Mm -hmm. So it really doesn't fucking surprise me that, like, you know, you would have uh, that. It would be like yeah, so. Uh, Man, there's a big war right here. Yeah. It really doesn't surprise me that Monster Hunter would just, like, have another, you know, thing, like, more mm -hmm. outfits and stuff. They have, uh, in Japan, they do anime outfits constantly. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, Metal Gear tapped into it. Uh, Metal, Ge Metal Gear had Monster Hunter missions? Yes. Um, they had Monster Hunter specific missions that you could mm -hmm. play. Yeah, and Peace Walker. Yeah, and Peace Walker. Um, and and they were rough. They were hard. I mean, you unlock it towards the end of the game. Well, uh, you can unlock. Well, it they're early they're in the they're, game, they're like half gag missions, right? They are. They're not supposed to be taken like that seriously because yeah, you're just fighting a friggin' you know big dinosaur thing. Uh, there was a few, and they're just all bosses. You just fight you know giant monsters. Uh, and they're hard as hell. Like so, you can unlock it, you know, halfway through the game or so. But you can't really beat anything until later in the in the game when you're leveled up. You have more powerful weapons, and you're playing it co-op because you you can beat maybe like the first, maybe second monster, but the last couple of missions are super rough. You got to play it co-op. Yeah, I, I've heard people that like can get through that stuff, but it's like. Mm -hmm. When you talk to people who are like, "Oh yeah, I I got through all content in Monster Hunter by myself," it's like, 
Mm. Fucking good for you, man. Yeah, that's... Like, that is not the way the game was designed to be played. No. Not at all. <laughs> it's like, you. that's how you have fun, is playing that game co-op. It's yeah. Like you're not doing yourself a service if you're just playing it solo. So the green bar at the bottom is your health. Is the blue like a shield or something? I think it's my shield, and then the one and then on the right yellow is, is your yellow ammo. is your uh, ammo. Yeah. Which it, it bounces between not being an issue and being a massive fucking issue. <laughs> so you have ninety bullets out of six hundred, if I'm looking at that right. Yeah. It's it's. This game is just weird. Like, there, there'll be times that I'll walk through an area and it's like, I'm, I'm swimming in bullets, I'm always at max, like, mainly in mm -hmm. story missions. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm always at max, but it's like, any other fucking time that I'm not in a fucking story mission or something. They're like, you're out of ammo now. Yeah, right? it's like, you're, yeah, I've actually, like, I'm not even that far into the game, and it's like, you've run out of ammo, and it's like, that's Is there, not like, a, can you at least, like, melee or something if you're out of ammo? Um, yeah, I, th I don't know. I have a secondary weapon at this point, yeah. and I have my skills that I can kind of throw And you got down. your turret to help you out a little bit. But, yeah. I don't know, just... Running out of ammo kind of seems like one of those things that you don't want to do in this type of game. And that you would, like... <laughs> yeah, be this like, isn't Resident Evil here, where you gotta conserve bullets. Yeah, and the fact that it's sort of like deep water. Oh, okay, so there is deep water. Oh. So you might have to unlock a skill or something to go swimming in it, or you just that's just their border. Who the fuck knows? Yeah. Um. Oh, I take damage. Hmm. Um, Collect five pieces of seafood. Oh, and there's the last one. Yeah, so it, it is a fetch quest. But, it, uh, whatever. In the least interesting way possible. Oh, Which is, okay. Yeah, and like the monsters just weren't fucking spawning. Like, they spawned in a wave, mm -hmm. which I guess they're supposed to, and they just didn't... Dr like, I think that, like, the chunk of monsters that appeared the first time, mm -hmm. they were all supposed to have dropped everything I needed, and they just didn't. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So you only have this pistol laser gun, if... Uh, yeah, it's like your arm, and I think you're supposed to, like, upgrade it or some bullshit like that. Oh, that's just, that's just your arm? Well, no, it, it's like a uh, welding arm or something. Yeah. So, yeah. Because you don't just find guns on the ground. you got to just no, bring... No, I've, I've been finding, like, random parts and stuff, but mm -hmm. it just doesn't seem... But not like full weapons. Yeah. And some ammo drops, but you, so you probably have to grab the parts, make your make a new weapon. It's not like Borderlands. You kill some guys, random guns will just fall out of them. See, oh no, I've randomly decided to be full on fucking ammo again. Hmm. I just ran out, fired the last of my bullets, and it was like, "You're full of ammo." It's like, "Fuck you, dude." <laughs> Like, make up your mind. I was trying to, like, conserve ammo. and <laughs> You can't just... Don't tease me like that. I dropped my turret back there somewhere. And... Yeah. It's just racking up experience as I walk away. <laughs> That's what you do. I was the uh, the turret guy in Borderlands. You just throw your turret out there yeah. and kind of walk away, and then it'll take yeah, it'll take out a few guys. Yeah, it's well, it's just like uh, what was it, the Necromancer? Yeah. 
Yeah, you just like throw that thing yeah. out, and it's like it just right. kind of eats up guys, and all you mm-hmm. have to do is like sort of run. You just throw it in the general area. You chuck it down a cliff. So someone's trying to sell their girlfriend. That's if, cool. If you look at the chat in the corner. Yeah. Like willing to sell girlfriend. <laughs> That's really weird. Are those just random guys that happen to be in your world? Yeah, I think they are. Because they're not, but they're not actually like part of like your team. They're uh, not in my team. They're just yelling in fucking general chat. That, that was what I kind of noticed about Destiny too. Is I was just running around completing a mission, and then all of a sudden, like one other dude would like just join my world, but he would be doing like a completely other mission. Yeah, he was, he, yeah. He was doing his own objective. He just happened to be there in like the general kind of proximity where I was in. You know, he wasn't helping me or anything. I wasn't helping him. He was did just you get to his the, own uh, business. Did you get to the group fights? I did. That was the la- yeah, that was the last thing I unlocked was like, okay, I just unlocked the crucible. Let me play I think I played one match and I got fucking smoked. Oh no 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 not the t- not the uh fighting against each other. They're um they're actually fights later in the game. Mm, what do you like a boss battle? What? Um yeah, basically they're boss battles. Oh, you mean at the end of each yeah, at the end of each level, that's right. You get to a point where it's like you can't respawn uh here if you respawn, you got to go back to the uh beginning and that's like basically yeah, the boss battle. Yeah, you get you uh, at the end of almost every mission you kind of come across one of those um and you just fight like it's not like a like I didn't really fight like a quote unquote boss, I just fought like a stronger version of a regular enemy. But uh, again, it's an inter- it's an interesting take. It's I think it's a little different. Yeah, I certainly enjoyed it. Are you going to get it on PS4 when it comes out? Are you gonna- yeah, I already pre-ordered it. Oh, you got it. Okay. What the fuck is going on here? I'm just gonna walk over here and do something. Your guy is shooting. That's not me. That's yeah. some other guy. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. It, it, There's this uh, guy that's just shooting another guy. Who's dancing. Who's dancing. <laughs> and you can dance in uh, in Destiny. I don't know. If you, if you hit the D-pad, you can do a stupid uh, emotion. Like, one is, like, laughing. You can sit down. One's dance. The other one's, like, wave or something like that. So it's on occasion you just see a bunch of assholes just, you know, dancing in place for no reason. Yeah, no, that sounds like every MMO. That, that sounds like everything. <laughs> uh. Yeah, so did, I... Did, did you ever get the Elder Scrolls online? No, fuck that. You don't want to play that? No, um, I heard it was basically World of Warcraft. And it was like World of Warcraft. Really? Yeah. I thought it would be more like Skyrim or something. That's everyone wanted it to be like Skyrim, and they're and like, it's not like that. They're like, oh, we're gonna bring our Skyrim sensibilities to World of Warcraft, and it was just kind of like a World of Warcraft clone in like Elder Scrolls. Really? Yeah. Huh. Because that's gonna come out. They delayed it. Uh, the console release, Xbox One and PS4, until next year. I'm surprised that they're still releasing it. I wonder how successful it's been. I haven't really gotten any kind of an update. It's, I as far as I know, it kind of like hit and then disappeared. Hmm. Like, yeah, as far as I know, that game came out and then like dropped off the fucking radar. And you never played it yourself, though. You just kind of no. I I like you know one on Twitch. Mm-hmm. A couple of times and was checked it out. Yeah, checked it out. Looked at what was going on, um, and none of never was imp- never was impressed. Did um, other people like it? I mean, uh, other people played it. Yeah. Um. So I don't know if that means that they liked it. Mm-hmm. Like there, there were definitely people you know that came around and played it. Mm-hmm. But I don't think. Yeah, I wonder how it's going to play out on console. That's going to be interesting. Um, that's not 
it it's not that weird for that kind of stuff to come out. I mean, like, Diablo 3 came out. Yeah. How yeah. fucking weird is Diablo 3? Yeah, I didn't really... I, uh, not that I... That's a I mouse know, and keyboard game through and through. Yeah, I know you said you didn't like Diablo 3, and I kind of know, after playing it and beating it, I kind of know where you're coming from now. It was it, okay. It was fine. It was perfectly fine, it was, but it, it was, was not Diablo 2. But it was, yes, it was not like... It didn't have the charm. It, it was just missing the soul? Yes. Like, if that makes any sense, like... No, I, I agree with that, because it, 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 it just didn't have that, that extra it, special... What it felt like was a company that had spent too much time developing an MMO. Like, well, let's just put this together. Well, but. no, it, like, um, so in Diablo 2, you could create a character that made no fucking sense, but you could take Diablo out naked. Like the naked necromancer runs that people used to do, that they would just have like a hundred, a hundred billion skeletons. Yeah. And they would just destroy everything. And you know, that was you know I I always thought that kind of stuff was interesting, but in Diablo three, it's like, well, here's this skill you can use it one of two ways. I thought, I mean, I had, when I played Diablo 3, I got, like, my one or two favorite abilities, favorite skills, and I just spammed them the entire... That, yeah, exactly. Whereas in Diablo, like, Diablo 2, you would, like, see that you could get a new ability, and you're like, I really want to try that a bunch of times just to make sure it's useful or not. Yeah. Like, after, you would... After, after I played it for, I was, you know, at hour 6, I just realized, man, you know what? I am just... Button mashing the X button. Yup. I don't... I am, I, I am button mashing. I, I feel like I'm just kind of waiting through... It, it like... It, it's not a lot of strategy. It's not... Just, it doesn't feel kinda, like you know, I'm... just kind of hit and run if you get in trouble. It, it doesn't feel like I'm fighting through swarms of enemies. It kind of feels like I'm in a giant wave pool. And it's just a and I'm like every now grind. Yeah, and every now and then, like, in the wave pool... You like, get one big wave. You get a big wave, and, and it'll it pushes slightly you. knock you down, but you can still recover from it. Yeah, and like even if you go back like a little distance, like you know, like it wipes you or something, like mm -hmm. you're, you're still fine. Like you just get back up, you do it again because you know, fuck it, that wave's probably not going to come in the same manner. Yeah, I feel the same way. It's, it's, uh... So I I I can say that I played it, I beat it. Yeah, it, ending, it was okay. The you know, ending. I, what the fuck was with the ending? It was. It was weird. I mean, like you actually, because you go to heaven, you know, this time. Yeah, instead of it hell. Was kinda, it was weird. Yeah, but wasn't so, it like I mean, hell was invading heaven, and that's what you did? Or yeah, it got a little crazy with the story, uh, but whatever. I played it. I, I don't have to go back and play it again. Yeah. You ch check that one off the list and move on. Yeah. No. Um. And it's sad because. Uh, like, that came out, like, I got fired from my job, like, as that, w as that came out, and I'm, like, really excited, and I'm, like, well, I got all this fucking time to play this game. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it! <laughs> um, and I'm playing it, and I'm, like... It's like a double whammy, he's, like, oh... Oh, I lost my job! Oh, good. this game is fucking awful! <laughs> yeah, that's a kick to the balls when you're down. Yeah. Um, uh, and they, I, like, there was a real world, uh, money marketplace. Yeah, they, they shut that bitch down. Uh, yeah, they had to. Um, basically, what ended up happening was, well, like, people, they were like, oh, well, nothing should sell, like, we've rigged it in such a way that things shouldn't sell for more than, like, a hundred, like, a hundred dollars for, like, the rarest fucking thing in the game. Mm -hmm. And things were selling for, like, ten grand. Really? Is that is that why they shut it down? Um, I, or it just wasn't no, making any I, money. Nobody was using it. No, I'm pretty sure they shut it down because there were mon people were using it to launder money. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. I just heard that they were shutting it down. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard. Uh, the oh line. oh oh yeah. Well, I mean, like all you have to do is basically <laughs> like <laughs> that's hilarious. Is you go in, you're like, I will buy this item for, you know. Like, you buy this item for X amount of dollars, and then, like, like you go in, and you're just like, I'm going to sell this item for 
$10,000. It's a $3 item. No one's going to buy it. All of a sudden, someone buys it for $10,000. And you could be selling it to yourself, basically. Yeah, you but can, it goes I, through I the... Theory, make another account or something. Yeah, like. and it goes through the channel, and it's like, basically, you've laundered that money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> People, man... Oh. That's that's I didn't I didn't even think of that I that's hilarious. Yeah, and that's why like every now and then you fucking. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas Valve is just like they try to crack down on it, but they're like it's probably still gonna happen. It's gonna happen no matter what it's, you're gonna do. Yeah, there's nothing that we. It's can it do. whether they do it when one ten thousand dollar, or they just do you know a bunch of uh, of one dollar of, of one dollar or ten dollar, you know whatever the increment and, is. And Valve's like, we don't care. We're we you know we're making five cents on the dollar. So yeah, what the fuck yeah, ever. Yeah. <laughs> uh. yeah. So. This has been Firefall. Yeah, so Firefall, what do you think? Closing comments. Um, if you're drunk and looking for something to play with friends who are equally as drunk, this is an option. But you have to drink the exact amount of alcohol. You, you can't drink too little. You can't drink too much. You need you, to drink exactly the right amount. Yeah, like, I'm a little too sober to be playing this, and it's not... Like, I could see if I was playing with a couple of friends yeah. that this would be a blast, but I'm playing mm-hmm. by myself, and I'm not really excited. And the fact that... it Like, that like um what was it? Uh, the one that I like more is, like, the Marvel Heroes game. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, that game is more interesting. It's, it's kind of... Um, you know, it's more like Diablo and those old Marvel, um, like, uh... The, uh, uh Baldur's Gate-like... Ultimate Alliance games. But, but yeah. yes, yes, that's what I mean, yeah. Um, yeah, the, though it's exactly like that on the PC, and I think it's pretty good, but then you get into stuff that it's like, this version of Wolverine is $25. Why? Mm-hmm. Because Wolverine is popular, and we can. Yeah. It's like, oh man, I I don't fucking want to do that. <laughs> well, that's the free to play mentality. That's what they have to yeah, do. Yeah, and it's like this guy's popular, so you know, yeah. fucking pay money, asshole. Mm-hmm. So, you can't blame him, I guess, but oh well. Yeah. So where can people find you, sir? Uh, I am Zach Gazrowski, editor in chief of MyGamer.com. Check us out there. We review stuff. We post news. We'll post up the stream. We stream every Wednesday. Check us out. Um, you can also check out my personal blog at squallsnake.com and follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z-A-C-K-G-A-Z. All right, my, I'm Dan Gilman. You can find me on my gamer as well. You can follow me on Twitter at Gilman. And you can also uh, visit my personal website. Uh, a bunch of this stuff normally gets cross-posted there as well. Uh, it's farms.net. So, yeah, if you're interested in any of that stuff, feel free to check us out. All yeah, right. Leave, leave us your comments. Let us know what you think. If there's a game you want us to stream, let us know. Yep. And we will um, see you all in the future. <laughs>